yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy, J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys J.I. Squad Now, um, just a quick disclaimer before we get into this video I just wanted to say um, You guys are currently on a different setup Than you guys normally would be um, When we're inside of the car So, A, if there's a whole bunch of like rattling noises I do apologize It's the accessories from the camera that are just rattling because it's hanging upside down at the moment um so i'm sorry about that um and then b if the camera is a little more shaky than normal again i'm sorry about that you feel me y'all just bear with me uh my interior suction cup mount actually ended up breaking on me and that was the second one from that company that i had bought so i just decided to go ahead and scrap it and move forward by you know what I'm saying just using the mount for my insta 360 but yeah I got some real good news for the channel for Vader um that I'll be you know kind of unraveling as these upcoming weeks go by man so just make sure you guys are staying tuned hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't turn on those post notifications on the road to 4k subscribers man if y'all haven't already just hit that subscribe button for the kid but in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be going over all of the mods that I have done to Vader thus far. Um, we're actually, if I'm not mistaken, six months in or five months into ownership. And this car is honestly getting exactly where I wanted the build to be um, in such a fast pace. So, with that being said, man, um, we're going to go ahead and do this video a little differently. It is blistering hot outside, so I don't feel like standing outside, walking around the car and showing you guys everything that I've done. Um, so, we're actually going to do kind of like an in-car vlog, um, and then I'll just throw the mod that I'm talking about on the screen um, so that you guys can see it. So, starting off, we're going to start with the interior because I'm already sitting in the car. So... Coming in hot at number one is going to be the carbon fiber. Um, and I know a lot of you guys wanted me to start with the headliner, but we're starting with the carbon because I love carbon. Um, so, huge shout out to Next Gen Speed, my sponsor. Huge shout out to Wild Hammer Motorsports, another one of my sponsors. And then also uh, Amazon. I've got in. All of the carbon fiber that you guys see on the interior for either one of those companies. Now, Amazon's carbon, some pieces are what looks like dip, and some pieces are actual genuine carbon. So, with that being said, I couldn't be more ecstatic um, or more pleased with how the interior has come out so far. So, as you guys know, we have the passenger side airbag cover the dash piece the entire dash piece i got that from wild hammer motorsports we have the uh push button start cover and the surround from next gen speed we have the uh gear shifter uh trimming we have that entire carbon fiber piece from next gen speed as well and then going to the steering wheel we have the trim pieces for all of the steering wheel controls from Amazon, the little silver ring that goes around where it says Camaro, also from Amazon. And then the centerpiece is from Amazon as well. Now the part that says Camaro, the little centerpiece for that, now that is from Next Gen Speed. And then my little door covers for my window buttons on the driver and the passenger door is from Amazon. Um, now jumping into the one that you guys want to know, the starlight headliner man um so i actually bought this kit 
Encore Mamba. I was going to do the stars on Mamba's headliner. I thought it would have been dope with the sunroof and then having the stars going around the sunroof and still spelling out my name. That would have been dope to see. Um, so that's definitely what I was going to do. Um, and then, you know what I'm saying? I ended up selling the car, so I kept the kit. Now, when I bought Vader, I was like, I already knew I was going to do the stars on Vader, but I wasn't quite sure how I would do it, being that it didn't have a sunroof. Um, I was like, dang, I do have to change my idea and maybe even think about adding more stars to the mix. So that's what I did. If you guys are new to the channel and didn't know, this is why I'm doing this video. All the modifications we'll be doing the rundown on and you guys can, you know what I'm saying? stay along and stuff like that so we currently have 1150 stars in the headliner right now the headliner says j-i-b-y-l basically j-i you already know that's me and then b-y-l stands for build your legacy it is the name of the clothing brand it is the name of my company um if you guys haven't already make sure you guys go follow me on instagram either at j-i productions underscore or official underscore b-y-l dot shop because that's the official page for the clothing brand um, the summer drop should be getting released here sometime next week so if you guys haven't already man go ahead and go follow and turn on post notifications so you can be notified when the drop comes out um because i i know you guys are gonna love these pieces um so yeah man other than that that pretty much wraps up the interior i have more pieces that you know are on the way and more things that i'm going to be doing but for the most part that's about it now, one more thing that I do have is the front-facing and rear-facing dash cam. Shout out to my wife. She bought that off of Amazon. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it definitely comes in clutch. It shoots in 4K. The footage is clean and crisp. And there's audio. So that's another big plus. There's audio. Um, so with that being said, that's actually going to wrap it up for the interior. Now we step outside to the exterior. And man, oh man, do I love the exterior of this car, bro. So, as you guys may or may not know, this is a 2021 Camaro SS 1LE. Now, what the 1LE entitles, as far as aesthetic mods go, it comes with the 1LE front chin spoiler. It comes with the satin wrapped hood, the satin wrapped um, side mirrors, the satin wrapped uh, tri bar spoiler and satin wrapped diffuser. Now, with that being said, I didn't really have to do much to the exterior of this car. Um, all I did is put the car. Oh, and it also comes with the one LE wheels. I'm <laughs> trip. You feel me? Oh, and the red calipers. Really trip. Give me one second, y'all. But yeah. So, like I was saying, y'all, jump into the exterior. Um, the one LE. Chevy kind of pretty much takes care of the aesthetic mods for you. Um, I always say this, I've said this in multiple videos, but if I wasn't a car guy or if I wasn't a YouTuber and I just somehow fell upon this car, I definitely, well, you can't even, well, yeah, if I would have fell upon this car and bought it, I definitely would have left it stock because they just come so beautiful in front of, from the factory. All I did was add the EOS, which stands for Extreme Online Store Carbon Fiber Z01 Style Side Skirts because the cars don't come with side skirts. And I also put the 1LE badging on the car because if you guys are, have been in tune with all the videos, then you guys know one of my biggest pet peeves was the lack of branding from Chevy. Um, you know what I mean? They only had the SS badges on the car. They didn't have any 1LE badges. The only place where 1LE was located was on the calipers. Um, so, yeah, I definitely had to change that. Um, they took care of the wheels. You got the 1LE wheels, so didn't have to really change that, even though I do have a new set of wheels for the car. <laughs> but All right, y'all, real quick, there's a couple things that I did forget to mention. I also have the EOS um, rock guards for the front and the rear, and I have the ZL1 add-ons um, front license plate bracket that I sourced from Wild Hammer Motorsports that actually doubles back as a tow hook as well. So forgot to mention that. And then on the interior, I do have the carbon fiber knee pads from Next Gen Speed. So there's a couple modifications that I forgot to mention. I do apologize. So 
yeah, back to the video. Anyway, yeah, man, um, other than that, as far as the aesthetic mods go, um, I did get my car's windows tinted by my boy Shark Tint. Y'all already know, Shark Tint for the wind, always. Windshield is 20%, and then the rest is 5%. Um, now, moving into the engine bay. Now, I know you guys are excited for this. So, we have the... Speed Engineering 1 and 7 8 long tube headers catless. We have the LT2 intake manifold um, with the C8 engine cover. We have the Rotofab um, intake. We have the MSD spark plug wires. And um, we have the Bull Boost Performance oil catch can on the car. The headers, the spark plug wires, the... Um, E85 flex fuel kit were all sourced from Wild Hammer. The E85 flex fuel kit is made by Wild Hammer. Um, all of these companies that I'm sponsored by, all of my codes will either pop up on the screen or they'll be linked to the dis uh, description of this video so you guys can definitely, you know what I'm saying, save yourself some money with my discount code and whatnot. But yeah, man, um, I'm about to run in the house real quick. I'll be right back. One hour later. Yeah, man. Honestly, in all honesty, that's pretty much all that I've done to the car so far. Um, now, if I was to choose a mod to be like my favorite mod, bro, if I'm being honest, um, I kind of am curious to see what you guys think my favorite mod out of all the mods that I've done to my car is. So with that being said, this is what we're going to do. I've been feeling real generous lately, and I've really been wanting to give back to you guys for the support. Um, you know what I'm saying? A, just to give back to you guys and let you guys know, like, hey, I do see y'all, the ones who tune into every single video, the ones who are leaving likes, the ones who are dropping comments, the ones who are subscribed, like, I see y'all, you feel me? So I want to give back to y'all and give you guys chances to win um you know money give you guys chances to win gift cards even merch bro unreleased merch you feel me like stuff like that so with that being said i'm not gonna say what my favorite mod is um i want you guys to guess go ahead and take a, a guess down in the comment section down below and then leave your instagram handle next to your guess if you get it right I will literally, personally, sign one of the merch pieces. You get to choose. I'll sign one of the merch pieces and I'll send it to you. Shipping covered, cost covered, completely free. So, out of all the mods that I said in this video, y'all take a guess right now and drop it in the comment section down below. Let me know which one you think was my favorite mod um, that I've done to the car. And I will be choosing a winner. What's today, Tuesday? I'll be choosing a winner within the next 48 hours so we'll have a winner it'll be announced in friday's vlog if it's not announced in friday's vlog then you'll be announced in saturday's vlog so go ahead drop your comments right now take a guess what do you think my favorite modification to vader is i'm super intrigued to see what you guys say <laughs> also give this video a big thumbs up man subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications that's gonna wrap it up for today's video man uh, let's go ahead and roll that outro, man. We'll see y'all in the next one.